One band that I consider on the underground and off the radio radar while still having an extremely strong following thanks to the internet is Canada's The Birthday Massacre. After their 2014 album Superstition, which I loved, comes their seventh full album Under Your Spell, and with that strong following came a lot of support in making this album. Thanks to Pledge Music, The Birthday Massacre's campaign to create Under Your Spell was not only met but then supported further with an end result of 233% of their campaign goal. One look at the last page of this album's liner notes will give a glimpse at just how many fans pledged good money to hear new music from the band and their electronic and goth rock glory. In the press release and statement from The Birthday Massacre on the new album, they state how Under Your Spell will prove to be the band's most intimate and emotive record to date. That is a big declaration coming after their album Superstition, which was a brooding and electronic work that was not only oozing with that goth rock style, but it was also fantastic. But now in 2017 comes an album that is almost every way a tribute to the synth and electronic music of the 1980s. No matter how old you are, it is almost undeniable just how much the music on Under Your Spell could be placed in a majority of 80s movie soundtracks seamlessly. If this would have been the Birthday Massacre's debut album, then people would swear they just stepped out of a time machine. Along with the 80s vibe, the noticeable distinction of Under Your Spell when compared to its predecessor is that it is for the most part much more energetic and up-tempo. Whether it has more of a hard edge like Counterpain or the more carefree style of One, there is a feeling that this album has a pace and energy. Counterpain was featured in the trailer video for Under Your Spell and is arguably the hardest song on the album. It's the halfway point and is one of the few breaks from the nostalgic tribute to an electronic decade. This song has the right balance, however, even with its loud opening. Chibi's vocals in the bridge and chorus are great, and it all connects to some hard riffs at the end. The main standouts on Under Your Spell, I feel, are the tracks that indulge in the electronic effects but take some time to breathe while running. I say this because lyrically there are some great themes and concepts here, but when the songs have this happy, upbeat, synthetic bounce, it disjoints the tones. Tracks Tracks like All or Nothing, Games, and the title track are the few that slow the pace down slightly, but even these songs have a rhythm and flow that moves everything along. Musically, everything sounds produced and mixed well. Every song feels like an individual event. When you listen to the first half of the album, you get that feeling of each song being a separate entity and they all give a different emotion that way. From the opening synth keys of One, you get that reminiscent sound of 80s music and then it goes into a romanticized goth style that the Birthday Massacre are known for. The first half of Under Your Spell, starting with one, is where most of the replay value will come. While each song feels individual, it feels like the most emotion comes from the first five tracks. I definitely get the vibe of intimate and personal when hearing Chibi sing, and lyrically there is a lot to latch onto. The first half of the album is where those qualities shine. Not every song is going to be getting your undivided attention. Songs like Unkind and No Tomorrow are unfortunately forgettable almost as soon as the track is over. The listening experience all the way through the album can also take you out of the moment because each track feels so individual, the flow from track to track isn't completely smooth. Even with those critiques though, there are several songs and moments that really shine here. The Birthday Massacre has the ability to say they have a unique sound in 2017 while performing in a genre where many bands are trying to chase the next trend. And while the album may not be the most complete experience you are looking for, there is still a massive amount of creativity and talent that was involved in the electronic love letter to the style of a past decade. Overall, Under Your Spell will please the fans that have helped both contribute to this album and the fans that have supported the band through six previous releases. Whether it'll be those fans' favorite album in the discography will be up for debate, but it's a strong effort in emotion and writing that every John Hughes movie from the mid-80s would be lucky to have.